A standing ovation at City Hall for the superintendent of Buffalo Schools. Good evening, everyone. Dr. Pamela Brown is not going anywhere, at least not anytime soon. A motion to fire Dr. Brown failed tonight by a vote of five to four, with school board members Kapsiak, Belton Cotman, Johnson, Seals Nevergold, and Harris Tig all voting against her dismissal. Now, the big questions going into tonight would the board have enough votes to send Dr. Brown packing with a year's pay of $217,000? $1,500. Would the board fire consultant Mary Gwynn, who's paid $289,000? And would the board approve the hiring of public relations chief Lori Schultz, earning $115,000? News for's Rich Newberg has been leading our team coverage every step of the way. He's live at Buffalo City Hall with the very latest tonight. Rich? Yes, and there was a lot of drama and a lot of passion at this school board meeting. Dr. Pamela Brown entered the Buffalo City Hall School Board meeting to a standing ovation from her supporters. Dr. Brown, first, I want to thank you for coming to Buffalo. Many of the speakers who then addressed the board praised Dr. Brown and her performance as Buffalo School Superintendent. You bring a breath of fresh air to Buffalo. We have had a mess in this school system for decades. It takes more than one year to clean it up. It takes several years, but it takes a unified community support to clean it up. Citizen activist Sam Herbert, who locked eyes with school board member Carl Palladino, brought race into the issue regarding Palladino's call for Brown's firing. I ask you, Mr. White Man, to set aside your personal dislike towards educated black women. I ask you the question, Mr. White Man, who has the PhD? I think they've stooped to an all-time low here with this nonsense about race. When, when you don't have any other position to defend your, your, uh, your stance on issues, then you play the race card, and that's very unfortunate. Before the vote was taken, Dr. Brown spoke passionately on why she deserves to keep her job. This was the right time. Uh, to be able to make a significant difference in the lives of the children in this district. Board members then spoke their minds. I think the sideshow of continuing to bring this in front of her, that's what's hurting our children today. It's a distraction, it's, it's inexcusable, and it really needs to stop. No. No. Well, Board President Barbara Seals Nevergold, Dr. Nevergold said the board should now come together and move forward. Joining me, Rachel Kingston, no vote on the consultant's contract for Dr. Uh, Dr. Gwynn tonight. And what about Lori Schultz? Uh, I had to come downstairs uh, basically to do this report, but when I left, there was no vote on Lori Schultz for the public relations job. And these are the two other personnel issues that the school board, as you know, Rich, was expected to vote on this evening. As far as Mary Gwynn's employment and the review of her contract, that has been sent to the district's legal counsel for further review. So we don't know when, at what point in a future school board meeting it may be revisited. Lori Schultz's uh, contract or the approval of the creation of that chief of PR in the school's job at $115,000 a year that has not been discussed yet it may still be the meeting is still going on as we speak I want to revisit what happened here earlier today before this meeting happened there was a rally on the steps of City Hall about 30 to 40 supporters of Dr. Pamela Brown voicing their confidence in her as the leader of this district and why they believe she should remain on the job she certainly got a brilliant show of support out here from them Here's a little bit more of what they had to say to us earlier. I think that she's shown significant improvement this year in terms of the graduation rate is 56 percent. The um, dropout rate has been um, reduced significantly and the chronic absent absenteeism has been reduced. She's done what no one else could in one year. She's already done it. Now she's going to build on that to take us the type of thing that the world will see Buffalo as the city of light. And that's the message. She can use more time. She deserves more time. But in one year, she's done what no one else could do. 
Dr. Brown said this evening some people may think she's naive and overly optimistic for wanting to raise Buffalo's high school graduation rate to 80% in the next few years, but she said, I believe we can do it if we all come together as a community. For Rich Newberg, I'm Rachel Kingston reporting live from City Hall. Don and Jackie will send it back to you.